Hey guys, Head Dog here, and today my video is going to be another Clan War recap. So, in our last Clan War, we fought against many a man clan. We won 80 to 45, and I'm going to show you some replays from the war. So, to start out, we can look at the clan's war statistics, and we averaged 1.4 new stars per attack. And why that is low is because we had a lot of attacks at the end where people just raided for loot because we had already three-starred pretty much everyone. They didn't do as well, and we had a lot of three-stars, which was the difference. We had 23 three-stars, which is one of the most I've ever had in a clan war, and they only had seven. So, as you can see, this is our bases, and... It's pretty scattered. They don't have, like, all the way down three stars like you'll see we do. From eight and down, everyone is just three stars, so everyone we three starred. We did a great job there, and from, we, we starred everyone on their side, so that was good. And the first replay I'm going to show you is the most heroic attack, which was done by me. I honestly... Thought I should have been able to get a three star on this raid, but I wasn't able to but I still got the most heroic attack So I start by picking off this army camp up there with a minion and then golems Wall breakers and wizards just the regular go wipe strategy Unfortunately this golem over here goes off to the side and He's not going to come back so now I drop the rest of my army, and the Tesla actually lured him up there, so I have to jump into this compartment. The lightning spell I missed just a little bit, but I still destroyed a couple wizards with that. Now right here I heal all up, up all those skeletons and other troops. So they broke into that compartment but decided not to go into it, and then they turn back in. So those witches are doing a great job over there, along with my king, queen, and Pekka. So this golem over here is still tanking for that wizard, changes into the golemites after it dies, and so I have the one star town halls down, and I still have my heroes are at full health, but my Pekkas are dead, and it just... My heroes aren't high enough level to get me to the three star, as you'll will see. The space was also really weird, so it had a lot of compartments on the outside. I start dropping with um, archers on the outside just to pick off the free percent. I know I can't get to the three star, but just to get a little extra more percent. So I activate the queen's ability perfect right there, so that the giant bomb misses her, and. Then I drop the last archers just to grab that elixir storage. And that elixir storage goes down. That wraps up the raid at 81%. Two stars on pretty upgraded Town Hall 9. So that was a pretty good raid for me. And I'm going to show you the next raid. The next raid was done by Jimmy. And he got three stars on their number 30. And this was pretty exciting for him because he's been in our clan for a little while. And he's never been able to get a war star because he's so low. And finally, he this was his first war star ever. And he got three stars on this base. You guys can see this is a really low level base. And Jimmy doesn't really use the best strategy, which is all barbarians. But he did just upgrade his barbarians to level 2. And you'll see how the raid plays out. So he just spams in all of his barbarians. And then this is really what wins the raid for him is this witch right here. So you always, in a clan war battle, you always want to have full army, full CC, and a full spell factory. Because that can definitely change the tide of the raid. As you can see here, this witch is just spawning a lot of skeletons which are better than his barbarians. And I'll speed it up so they just break through all these compartments. Luckily, the mortars didn't do too much damage. There's actually quite a few barbarians left and just one archer tower left. So the witch is doing perfect. She's behind the barbarians, so she can just keep summoning those skeletons without getting hit.
skeletons on the archer tower, and then that goes down. So now there's no defenses left, and he just has his witch, and skeletons go around and clean up the rest of the space for the three-star victory. So super exciting for Jimmy. He f finally got his first war star, and that was pretty cool. So I'm going to show you the last raid of this clan war recap, and it is a Town Hall 8 attack. So all these guys right here were Town Hall 8s, and we three-starred them all, but I'm going to show you one done by Bill. So at Town Hall 8, the best strategy by far is go wipe. Dragons don't really work as well at Town Hall 8, so you're definitely going to want to use go wipe, which is, if you don't know, it's Golem, Wizard, Pekka, and Wallbreaker. So as you can see, he dropped Golem, Wizards, and Wallbreakers, and the Wallbreakers did a great job. They broke through all those compartments right there. So now all of his troops are down, and he's just going to let them go around the base, and he has two spells left. So he heals those wizards right there, which is a really good move because they were getting shot by the mortars and the last rage spell to take down that town hall and the rest of the mortars. So now that those mortars are down, there's not much in the way of those wizards that are left, and luckily he brought some archers along to clean up this free percent on the outside. With a go wipe you definitely want to bring at least five archers to get extra percent if you're only at like 49 percent or just to save time by destroying out outside buildings. So he, he has a lot of troops left. He has both of his golems left. They didn't tank as well as they should have and a lot of the fire was going against the king and Pekka's, but they still did their job fairly well. So as you can see here, all the other troops break to out here while the golems break over to there, which is good so they can take out that wizard tower and Tesla. So the archers get shot down and they did a great job destroying those buildings so the other troops would have time to get to that third star. Now, as now, as you can see, the king and Pekka's are just going to go around and destroy the rest of the base. The golems are pretty dumb because there's no buildings left over there, and then they continue to break that wall. But he does get to that third star, so Town Hall 8 Go Wipe is really powerful, and you can three-star most Town Hall 8 bases. So I definitely recommend you use that as a Town Hall 8. So that wraps it up for this video. It was a great war. We won 80-45. to 45. They weren't a very good clan, and we destroyed them. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.